Well, hello, and welcome to a new term of the weekly drawing and painting projects. This term, I want to try and do things a little differently, and I'm spreading the theme over four weeks. So I'm beginning with animals in art. And here I have a selection of some drawings that I've been doing at Gorgie Farm. Uh, and following this introduction, there's going to be a series of short videos, which I made earlier in the year, um, demonstrating different ways. Actually, the videos were made particularly for children, but demonstrating different ways of drawing the animals at Gorgie Farm. So there'll be the rubber way charcoal cow. So covering the page with charcoal and working both with the rubber and with charcoal to model in three dimensions that particular animal. There are there's a, a demonstration of drawing the goat as a negative shape, so starting with the background. Uh, the pigs, putting drawing a pig uh, without lines, and also I can't find them, but there there are some chickens in uh, ink and wash. So what I'm proposing for this four week block is that in the first uh, week, at least, uh, I'll provide you with photographs of animals from Gorgie Farm. And I dare say you'll be able to find your own reference material as well. Some people will be joining the group on Monday morning to go to Gorgie Farm and uh, make a series of sketches. So the first stage really will be to collect um, a number of images working with um, the animals at the farm. Next week we'll be at the zoo and begin um, to think about how you might want to put these animals together into some kind of composition. And I'm hoping that as the four weeks develop, you know, as the time goes by, people will gradually be finding ways of using these sketches of animals from different sources to make a composition that has a certain um, aim, significance, interest for you. It might just be to do with colour, to do with shape. It might have a more symbolic or a narrative um, end to it. But I'm hoping that if we spread the theme over four weeks, it can, it, there will be time for people to explore different possibilities. So for our Zoom meeting on Monday, for those who want to take part, we can perhaps just see a few of the sketches that you've made and possibly some thoughts about um, an initial composition, putting these sketches to work. But the process will be Gorgie Farm this week, the zoo next week, and then the third week I'm going to be demonstrating a monoprinting technique. So that will be very useful for putting things together quickly. And the final uh, week of, of the four-week period will be looking at collage. So, as I say, I'm hoping that there'll be time for you to develop ideas and to go in different directions, change your mind, develop things, let things evolve over that period. So on to the videos, which will happen next. Uh, and um, let's see how you are inspired by this uh, particular theme. I'm not sure how long my luck's gonna last, but this is Bill and I'm going to draw him with some charcoal. I've got some, it's called willow charcoal. Very soft willow charcoal and a rubber. And the first thing I do is cover my bit of paper with the charcoal. Like that. So that the white paper is not white anymore. Rub it in. I've made a few scratches. That's okay. And now I can either draw Bill, who is black, with some more charcoal, which is the first thing, do his body, and straight down for some legs. And then, with the rubber, I'm going to draw a round Bill. So I'm going to rub away the line of his back and he's got a bit of a, a tufty top to his head 
which does keep moving. And down to... So that's not right yet, but it's a start that I can keep changing. And if Bill moves, well, I'll have to adapt what I do to him. And if I take something off that I would rather have, and I can just put some more charcoal back on. It's quite nice when I can see his ear. Or maybe I should have him with his head down. I'll put a bit more back on. And when he's, when he's eating the grass, that shape all changes. And his ear is down here. That is a bit more pointy, so I could bring him down there, like that. Keep taking off. Take all of that away. And sometimes I can see two legs at the back. Sometimes I can only see one. So I can keep rubbing away like that. And then if I want, I can also make parts of him darker. So he has got an ear over here. And we've got some darker bits on his back. And I could also use the rubber a little bit more lightly now, because there's lots of lovely shiny bits of hair, fur. What do cows have? cow fur and I can start to take some of that off. So this is a great way of drawing. It's very quick and if anything goes wrong, I'll chop off his ear, just put it back on again. If his nose isn't round enough, take a little bit of it off. And if there's a bit of a shine on his nostril, you can put that on as well. So try that. It's very quick. You need some white paper, some of this willow charcoal, you get very messy hands at the end, and this is a plastic rubber, so it's, a, it's very good at taking off the charcoal and um, allowing you to draw shapes with the rubber. And then you can get rid of the bits you don't want, or you could put in something else, you could give him a some grass or a fence. Keep looking to see if there's anything else you, you can add. And I took some, before I started, I took some photographs of Bill. So if you wanted to work with them, or else you might come here to Gorgie Farm and work with the cow itself. There we go. So I'm, I'm drawing. A white goat. It's a good model here, won't move. And this time I'm going to draw, I'm not going to draw the goat itself, I'm going to draw the shape around it. So I'm using a bit of green for the grass. And I'm looking at the shape around the goat. So I'm leaving behind some white for the goat. He's turned his head around. And he's looking at me now, so a bit of an ear here. I can smudge it a bit. So that's nearly my goat. But I need a bit of brown. So maybe I'll do that next. I'll do the side of its face and its ear and it's got another ear over there got a nose here so that's nearly it it's very quick if you just draw the negative shape and then I can change that because I think I think I want to get the shape of his back and its legs and maybe I'll make some of it a bit stronger. Get 
get the shape of his head there. A little bit more of a neck, isn't it? <clears throat> and perhaps, I can only see one leg on each side, but I could try a little bit of grey. Oh, lovely grey. Try a little bit of grey down here. <laughs> There we go. So I'm going to make a drawing of the pigs with a pastel. I've got a, an orangey pink pastel and I'm going to draw a shape for the body first. I'm not going to do the, the legs or the head. I'm just going to do a bit of an oval of the body and then down here and I'm going to get a shape for the head. But you see I'm not drawing any lines at all. I'm drawing with the side of the pastel. I've got a, a reasonable colour and that's going to give me a body and a head. I'll come back to the ears in a minute but the head is pointy, comes down to a snout and the body is a big round oval. Then maybe with this one who's standing down here, still I'm drawing with the side of the pastel. I'm not doing any lines. I'm going to put in some legs. Now it's tricky when you've got animals that are moving, you've got to be ready for that and it helps actually maybe to have more than one drawing. So I've got a, one of the pigs over here is lying down. So I'm going to do the same thing. I've got its big body and then its head is pointing down this way and really I can hardly see its legs. So now that I've done that I'm going to take another pastel. This one's a bit darker, I think. There we go. So now I'm going to look at things like the ears. So they have very big pointy ears. So I'll do that with a line. I'm trying to do the inside of the ear, which is a bit of a triangle, and the outside as well, like that. And then now that I've done that, why don't I come all the way down to the nose, to the snout, which is a kind of circle. He's got a bit of a chin, and then I'll, when I look at them, depends where they are, but I can see the, I can see the hair on their back. So I'm using this bark, darker pastel to help get some of that dark. And then they've got these wonderful trotters, so like two toes. So I'm doing that all with a darker pastel. good to find an eye they've got little eyes there's an eye there and maybe I should get some more and don't forget the tail so that's just trying to draw the, the pig without doing any lines first getting a bit of a shape that I can build on and any of that I can smudge it a bit fill it in maybe even go darker a darker pastel but it's it's easier to get darker once you've found what you want and you're more confident about making it stronger and another one so that if they move I can work on one drawing if the pig is in that that position it's really sitting down and then the ears coming up seem to be playing with the with their um, bowling pin. So there we go. So there's a pig just with the side of the pastel. No lines, building up the shape and then changing it to make it more and more like the pig that you can see. So I'm going to use a sharpened stick and a pot of ink to start drawing some of the chickens. This is just a bit of, well, it's just a bit of stick. It's a willow stick. I've sharpened it and it gives me a lovely flowing line. So I've started with the head. And I just keep dipping the stick into the ink. 
It's nice, some of the birds are staying very still. But I'll be ready if, if they move and I'll start another one and maybe they'll come back into the same position. So I've got a bit of, their bodies are kind of, kind of triangular. But with the ink, the great thing about the ink is that you can't rub it out, so you just have to get on with your drawing. And you don't have to worry about any mistakes. And once I've done the ink, I'll let it dry, and I'll put some color on top, so it won't matter if I get any of the things wrong. I'll be able to change them when I put the colour on. But I am going to put lots of lines in for the feathers. Because when I come to put the colour on top, probably some of that will show through. So that's one. Let me try another one. Maybe one of the ones that's down on the ground, one that's facing the other way. So maybe I should start with that triangular body first. Do you see it's a little bit like that. It's kind of round there. But it's bit of a triangle and then there's the head and a little beak I'm just going to point and then there's a crown I think it's called on top and then I'm going to do the got a lot of ink there and I'm going to do the feet last and the legs face forward and then we've got three toes so they're angled forward and as I did with the other one, I'm going to put in lots of texture for the feathers. I think the tail is a bit longer, so I just change it. And somewhere in there, I think I can see an eye. So I'll pause that while that dries, and I'll do some colour. So I've let the ink dry. I blotted it a bit, so it would dry quicker. And now I've got a bit of a... Um, orangey pastel. So this bird that I started with here it's got lighter and darker orange and brown. So I'll do I'll do the main colour first. And you can see at the moment I haven't put much on so you can actually see the ink. You can see the ink through it. I smudge it a little bit. So that's okay. I think I want to do the red next. I want to see how the red is going to work. It's got this lovely red crown. Maybe it's that red. Give it a bit of a red crown. And what else has it got? It needs to turn its head round. I think it's got something underneath as well. Something under there. And maybe a different, different bit of brown and yellow. great to put a bit of colour into them. And I could also go back with my... <laughs> that's better, that's a good colour. I could go back with my um, ink and do some more. But let's get, get some colour down here. So this one, I think I'll do that. Smudge it on a bit more. And then maybe I'll try my other colour and I'll try and get some feathers with this one. Some of them, there's one there that's got a really white back, so I could also rub that off. Get back to the white and give him a red, a red crown. A beardy thing. And maybe it's worth trying a little bit of something on the ground. Maybe put it around their body here. See what that does to give them some ground. There we go. Chickens in ink and pastel. <laughs>